Hey guys, Little King here, and I know that I've been away for a while, and I'm sorry about that, but I don't really want ha to have to explain it right now. I do have excuses, though. Uh, I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry. Anyways, so today in this video, I'm going to do something a lot different than whatever I, whatever I usually do, and that I'm going to do a tutorial, and I never have done a tutorial on this channel before. But today, because one of my friends was asking was asking me about this, and so I'm going to try to do it today, because I know what to do, and I just want to share this with you guys to see if you want to. So, whatever. Anyways, so the first thing that you're going to need to do, you want to go down in the description or go to the website, and you want to download the Technic Pack, the, um, the Technic Launcher, which is, um, if you've ever heard of Hexit, that's what you use to launch it. Um, it's just statistics, by the way. And so, like, you need to um, download whatever version uh, you're using for Windows users, which is like Windows 7, which is what I'm using, or Windows 8, and or, or Mac, or Linux. And, um, yeah. So, anyways, and then once you do that, it's going to be this little blue thing, and you just want to run it. Yeah, you want to run it. And just go through all the steps to download it and everything. Um, yeah. And so you want to open it up, and what I'm gonna—I don't know if I mentioned what the tutorial is gonna be about or not. So probably wouldn't have been an important step. I don't remember that far back, but it's this is gonna be how to create your own mod pack without having, like, cause I know how to mod a game, uh, how to mod Minecraft, but I don't really want to. It's very—it's pretty difficult and pretty in depth and advanced. But this is basically a really, really, really simple workaround, and it's really quick. Um, so what you want to do, you want to, um, scroll down until you find the mod pack that you want, whether it be, what I have mine at, which is, I'm going to be starting a Let's Play on, is I have done Attack of the B-Team, and as you can see, whenever I open up my mods folder, this will go up, okay, I'm going to open the folder, and then I'm going to go into mods, and you can only see that I have three things in here, and oh, that shouldn't, that shouldn't be in there, no, you go in there, uh, that shouldn't be in there. Uh, anyways, and so what you want to do, you want to download whatever mod that you want to do. And so, but what is going to be in here, this is not what's going to be in here. What's going to be in what um, in, in the um, Attack of the B Team one specifically um, is this. These files right here. All of these. It's got like over, it's got like 111 mods in it, which is insane. But anyways... So this is, but you don't have to use Attack of the B-Team, you can use whatever one you want to. So what you want to do is you want to find the um, pack that you're going to convert. You want to um, you want to create a new folder, and then just name it whatever you want to, just like um, poop. Um, as you can see there, you can just label it poop. And so... What you want to do after that is whatever, whether it be Hexit, Attack of the B-Team, Tekkit, Volt, Big Dig, or whatever, um, you want to just go into your mods folder, which will have a ton of mods in it. Um, it won't have like just these two, because these are the only two that I have in here. It's just going to have a bunch of mods in it, where there's like 60 to 100, whatever, 20 mods, something like that, somewhere in that area. It's going to have a pretty substantial amount of mods in it, and so what you want to do is you want to copy all of the mods by just going like this. No, that's not, that's not it. By just, like, no, by just highlighting them like that, like you would normally. Just find an open space and then just highlight all of them, copy them, and then paste them into your um, file. And so after you do that, this is a lot simpler than it actually sounds. So it would be like this. You just open this folder up, go into mods, and then you just click copy, minimize, poop, and then you paste. And then see, you both mods are in there. And so if you ever want to return to your mod pack to like just to play what the mod pack was like before you converted it, then you can do that. And yeah, and so then that will be there. As you can see, I have mine right here, Attack of the B-Team. And then what you want to do after that, you want to go back into your mods, and and you want to do like that, and you want to delete them. 
And that may, may sound a little bit, I don't want to delete it, but don't worry. You will still have your mods into your mod folder. See, I'll even prove it to you. I'll prove it. Because this is this will be really easy to put back in. Just delete. We want to delete these two items to the recycling bin. Click yes. And the mod pack is completely empty. They will be, if you want them, they will be, um, if you still want them and you didn't, and you did that before you made the folder, it will be into the, um, it will go in, to, it will go in to the recycling bin and you can restore the files. It may take a, it'll take a lot more time probably because you have to go through and you have to find the individual files and then do that. So what you want to do after the, after you've done that is take any mod that you want to. Just to, this works with just about any mod unless it's something that requires a launcher. Um, and you want to you know just do this and whatever. I'm just gonna use this because I'm just yeah. And you all you gotta do is drag and drop, drag and drop. Boom, you're done. Or just, or if you have a bunch of mods and you just want to put one into one folder, copy them all and then paste them. And then you have your own personal Minecraft mod pack. And you didn't have to mod your Minecraft. And your vanilla Minecraft will still be there. So you can go back to your vanilla Minecraft worlds and all that kind of stuff. And just to prove to you that this works, um, we will go in. Well, first I want to save that. And we'll go in, and we will. Let me just exit out. Of, oh, oh, poop! I, I'll have to do that later. Never mind. And so, just to prove to you that this is gonna work, you, you want to click play. What well, you probably want to to do, you want to click click play and run it before you copy and paste. Before you delete. I should have probably said that earlier, but you probably want to do that first. I'm not. If you don't really care about those mods, then you don't have to do that. I don't think that it makes a difference either way. But if you just to be like a hundred thousand percent sure that your mods are going to still be there, do that and make sure that your mod mod folder has mods in it. Cause yeah, if they don't have any mods in it, you can just drag and drop. But and you don't even have to do this. You can if you want all of the mods and still more mods, you can do that. And as you can see, I have the Star Wars mod installed. And so yeah, you'll just go into single player, something like creative mode. As you can see, I have an Attack of the B Team World. Ooh. I have an Attack of the B Team World down there, but that was whenever I was playing. I guess you would say vanilla mod pack, which isn't vanilla Minecraft, but it's a mod pack. That's vanilla. And so, yeah, now you have your modded Minecraft. You can do whatever you want to. Kill cows in one shot with this blaster. It's so OP. So yeah, I hope this was helpful, and I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, stupid rain. Go away, rain. Go away. Go away, rain. No. Well, I'm getting a lot of lag right now. It sh it, if you have a pretty beastly computer, it shouldn't lag, especially if you get Optifon installed, which is just a single, a simple drag and drop. Um, unless you have the latest version, which is a launcher. So, yeah. It, oh, but you have to make sure that the mod and um, the mod version is not the latest version it's whatever version that your minecraft is in so the mod pack could be in like 1.6.4 which is what this is in so that means that you have to get the 1.6.4 versions of stuff you can't get like the more recent version i don't think you may be able to i don't know we'll just spawn a bunch of clone troopers out here oh that one's getting dead <laughs> i didn't even spawn you in there you're just stupid like that no, not to say you guys are stupid, you guys are awesome. I'm one of you guys. No. No. These blasters are so OP, though. Yeah. This is a mod review, though. So, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, um, comment, you know, right? Subscribe. And, um, share the video, you know, if you found it helpful. And, yeah. Till next time, eat some cheese. Better. And I'll see you guys next time. Mm -hmm.